Yo, 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 everybody, this is Narcoleptic Cheetah in another episode of... Wait, what is this? Uh, so we actually have a, uh, a realm server now. Uh, it's multiplayer and all that stuff. Uh, this is basically just for my YouTube channel. But, uh, so I am starting to stream a little bit, and I've actually already streamed quite a bit uh, in the last couple of streams. Whoa, that's really loud. Hold on a second. Um... Let's turn that down to there or so. Okay. Uh, still kind of loud, but I'll take it. Yeah, we, we've done quite a lot of work. I've taken out a couple of banner patrols. Uh, we've gone to the nether, hence the nether rack. We've started building the house. Uh, we have done some exploring. Uh, and between the streams, I've actually started... So I move. I got kitted out with diamonds and stuff, I just basically was like, okay, mining is kind of boring on a stream, so we're gonna actually just not mine in, on stream anymore, or at least not as much. So I wanted to get some diamonds and such, plus I kind of went to the nether and lost my diamond pick when I panicked when lava came at me. Anyway, uh, so I had like one diamond pick and no diamond armor at the time, uh, so it was... <laughs> I was like, okay, I just need to go find some diamonds, mine some stuff, be good. So, uh, let's say some updates. Let's go down here. This is my mine. Uh, as you can see, we've dug out all this stuff. Uh, this is my normal type of strip mine. I only did it to 50 blocks, and actually, given the riches that I have at this point, I'm kind of fine with just doing 50 blocks maybe for now on even in a single player world um what's this hold on oh oh okay that one doesn't need to be there this is how i mark uh when there's stuff in the in the little peepholes so i, I dig out five and I, if there's anything that i can see I mean, not just up front, but if there's anything I can see, I put a little torch down so I can I know to go get it. Uh, we also have a mine shaft going right through the middle of our uh, our actual strip mine. Oh, okay. Um, and there is a spider spawner right around the corner here. Uh, where's my sword? Okay. Um. Yeah, see, there's the spider spawner. The, I've, this is something we absolutely have to do. I've been dying for XP to enchant stuff. So I've lit up a lot of this, but as you can see here, there's an enderman somewhere. I have no idea where he is. Uh, I haven't gotten completely done with the, with the stuff. Wait. Okay. <laughs> So they're going, wait, which, which way is which? Okay, so this... Alright, so we've done... We've we've actually mined out half the mine, and I think... Yeah, I actually need to take all this upstairs. Um, so, basically what I've done so far is I've just... You know, I, I've gotten my... Oh, there's my... Yeah, this, this sword sucks. <laughs> It's got sweeping edge on it, but bane of arthropods also, and that takes, like, I can't get sharpness on that or anything. Uh, unless I think it's trumped by another sword, that might be a thing, and then I can put it in the anvil. Speaking of which, uh, let's get our newest edition of the pick and take that upstairs. Um, I should have some stuff here. Yep. So, I've been using this for XP as well. It's not a lot. It's just some... Jeez Louise. This... The blocks, though. The blocks need to go down. Okay, sorry. They're stupidly loud. Uh, okay, so our next uh, thing to do... Hey, viewer. Person that isn't talking in the chat room. Um, hey, look. There's actually some iron right here. You can tell I have it. Am I streaming on multiple platforms? I am not. I am a very, very, very newbie to streaming. Uh, which means I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. Um, I have a YouTube channel, basically under the same name, Narcoleptic Cheetah. 
um, that I have done episodes for, um, but I haven't done anything remotely like streaming before. I've just started. Does that make sense? Person that is actually talking to me? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, I was just updating the um, my YouTube channel on everything I've done so far. This mine shaft through the middle of my mind is kind of annoying. Um, how are the sounds and such? Like, am I too loud? Is the music too soft? <laughs> oh, that's bad. All right, oh my God. where's my bed? Don't hear music, good times. Um, uh, not sure how to fix that. <laughs> like I said, I'm really new to streaming. Uh, I don't know how to fix that without blasting my own ears off, put it that way. Because right now it's kind of loud to me. Um, are you using headphones or are you doing it through the speakers? And I'm about to get to house building. Okay. Oh, well, you know. Hello. Oh, he's right on top, isn't he? Where'd he go? Oh, joy. That's okay. My... Just the speakers? Okay, yeah, the speakers, when I had them on at this volume, I couldn't hear it either, so... But since you prefer without music, it kind of works for you. Especially since... Mine has ads. Sorry. Okay, let's see here. Just put some stuff up. Okay. Let's see. I I have iron ore on me, don't I? I was kind of dumb. I'm just gonna put this in the chest for now. And go back upstairs. To our unfinished house. Put the anvil right there. Uh, let's see. This is my third day playing. Third? Fourth, maybe? I had two streams. One where I didn't stream, where I just mined. And then... Yeah, so this is my fourth day. I'm sorry. Fourth real life day. This is... Uh, I don't know how many hours in. Um, I've just got really basic stuff little cow pen food for the cows there's that enderman I uh, yeah I mean you can kinda see like the really basic stuff just this is actually my starter house right <laughs> so one of the first things I do when I when I go play Minecraft is I just mine like crazy like here take a look Nice 42, 43 diamonds actually, plus my armor and stuff. Uh, yeah, I just mine everything I come into contact with, um, especially since like redstone, coal, and diamonds are my experience points. That that's how, <laughs> that's why I have so much. Plus, I have a fortune. That's a silk touch pick. I have a fortune pick, so that's also why. Um. I need a way to get XP, but I also need to build this house, like I said I was going to do. So, let's take all that cobble. And let's take all this oak wood. Hmm, what else do I want? By the way, if you're curious, this is blocked up because I'm going to have... Hello, Enderman. Hold on a second. Um... Eventually, what I'm going to have is is a bridge right here. There's going to be water going through there, which is something we might handle today. Ah, of course he, he keeps teleporting. Uh, and then we're going to have like a separate house out here. Hello, super loud guys. Um, zombie villager. He has a mushroom. He won't despawn. Uh, that, where did the Enderman go? Is he under there? Uh, 
Uh, yep, don't know where you, where the Enderman went. It's fine. So, yeah, this will be a house. This is not where this guy is going to end up being, but I need to get trades going, basically. Um, I have a couple of resource packs going. No, no mods on the uh, thing, but you can see I have, like, a dark UI. Uh, that's just a resource pack I got from Vanilla Tweaks from Suzuma Void that runs that. If you're familiar with him on, um, whatchamacallit? <laughs> What's it called? On, on YouTube. Duh. Zoom avoid. But yeah, so this is going to ultimately just be open. And then it'll have like a, a roof. And it'll go down here and there'll be a second part to the house. Shut up, zombie. Um, and, and then I, I don't even know what's going over here. But this will be closed in, so there will really be no chance of, like, zombies or anything wandering into my house. Cool. Uh, bleh. So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I need some logs. So, let's get those guys. I also need this. And I need that. Okay. Yeah, um, Zoom Avoid is on Hermitcraft, yes. So, yeah, I watch them a lot. <laughs> and he uses a lot of stuff that I really like. Uh, there's one mod that he likes, but I can't use here, I don't think. Um, it's to let you preview what's in the shulker boxes, but I don't have to worry about that right now because shulker boxes are quite a ways away. Uh, one, I don't even know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Do I need to go up one more? I think, I think maybe one more. Yeah, one more. I didn't count. So hop up on the log, then the fence, then the other fence. Also, no feather falling as of yet. One, two, three, I don't know, five, two, three, four, five, six. That seems tall. Okay, actually, let's see. Okay, where's this roof line gonna be? The ceiling. Right here, permanent, permanent. So I need actually slabs for that part. Uh huh. Okay, let's build the ceiling. Uh, you know that thing I just picked up? I'm gonna put it right back down. If I can find it, I'll put it down right here. Let's see. Slabs. Need more than that. I streamed uh, three of the days. So, uh, well, two of the days. This is my third stream. So, the one I did last night, I just, I really, I, I lost my pick. I had one diamond pick at the time. And why am I doing it from down here? I don't know. Um, anyway, I had one diamond pick at the time. And I lost it because I went to the nether and I was an idiot, basically. Um, <laughs> I just... I, I was digging in a basalt delta. Lava came at me because I was digging up. And I accidentally hit Q. And voila, I lost my pick. Um, so, I, I spent the day just recovering diamonds. And then I was like, oh, well, I'll just continue recovering diamonds and so I did. Anyway, it, it, long story short, it is the, uh, uh, anyway, long story short, sorry, I was like, what did I just do? Um, is I basically just, I am having a hard time talking and doing this at the same time. Okay, so <laughs> I spent the whole day mining. I, I, got all that redstone, I got all the diamonds, I wound up getting the fortune enchant, which gave me more diamonds and more stuff. 
So I wound up getting kitted out off stream, which was kind of dumb on my part, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I really wanted to build the house today, and I wanted to hold that hold off on doing that until I got um, until I got to the point of you know being able to stream again. Okay, let's take this here. Okay, that's another stack. So, what kind of what kind of streams do you normally like to watch? Oh my gosh, that was dumb. So what brings you to me today then? And don't worry, I don't tend to watch that often either. say this and then I'll like get like attacked by monsters uh can't remember the last time my character slept in game I'm worried about the phantoms the phantoms I was gonna call them wraith I like multiplayer to play I actually like multiplayer to watch too but uh yeah I'm actually as as the as Minecraft, I guess, as Mojang updates the game more and more, I'm finding I like vanilla. Like they they've implemented a lot of what used to make modded so fun. Uh, like just looking out here, like the oceans used to be crap, right? Like there were no fish. You can see some fish right there. There were no there was nothing to make it interesting on the bottom, and Ooh, Enderman. Um, yeah, and, and now, like, you can... <laughs> this is probably one of my first beachfront homes because they there's actually stuff to look at out there. Plus, you know, maybe later in the season there'll be even more stuff to look at because I'll do something out there. I don't know. I say in the season, like, as if this is a TV show. Uh, one of the Endermen disappeared. Anyway. Um... Vanilla is king. <laughs> how long have you been playing? Or uh, do you play? And how long have you been playing? I guess I should say. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> let's see. How do I want to do this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wish I had scaffolding. Since 2009, okay, FTB years ago, and it just seemed unbalanced. I think balancing of all the features is probably a difficult hidden task. Yeah, it is. Um, I actually got started off on modded, but good gosh, I started, let's see, my nephew was probably seven or eight, so I probably got started in 
playing Minecraft, I don't know, I'll say 2012, 2013, 2014, something like that. It had been out for a while when I got started. Um, my nephew was little at the time, and he, he wanted to play and uh, knew that I played video games. And then, so he showed me the ropes, basically, and then I got better than him at it. Um, so he stopped playing. <laughs> Uh, kind of the way it goes. Let's see. This? No. I, I knew that wasn't going to work. I don't know why I did that. Alright, let's see. Um. Did this work? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's see. I know why it's doing that. I just don't like that it's doing that. That's a wall. <laughs> so, you, uh, oh, how old am I? Uh, let's see. Do I want to tell you or just give you an, or an age range? Finally. Place, place it right. Um, I am. Actually, wait. Should I, like, make you guess how old I am? Fuck! Ah! Crap. Whoop, got the stair. <laughs> Why is there a cow outside the pit? Oh, sorry. I am in my 30s. How about that? <laughs> I, I just have a love of video games. Oh, nice. Thank you. No, I'm, uh, at about 12 years. No, I'm actually not that old yet. I'm almost that old. <laughs> At 11 years, there you go. Um, oh, okay, cool. I just kind of assume everybody on the internet is like 12. <laughs> Even though that doesn't make sense with what you just told me. Uh, given that, you know, you told me that you started playing in 2009, which means just by proxy of having played that long. You're not that young. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Uh, does that look right? I'm kind of wondering if I don't want to. I don't know. Well, I was going to say if I don't want to uh, make the roof a little bit inward. I don't even know if that makes sense. Um, eh. That's right, I can do it here. Watching, oh. yeah, yeah, I'm older than you. I, I find there's not a whole heck of a lot of people that I've run into that are younger than me, but uh, I mean, that are older than me. Yeah, no. Gosh, see if I can talk right. Um, There we go. Um, so, if do you normally watch people who play Minecraft on YouTube, or do you just... I mean, you said you don't st watch streams that much, but... <laughs> oh, you don't... Ah, so me being older than you <laughs> makes, uh, gives you some relief. That's good. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I just realized this is even. Well, cred. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. I watch, well, like I said, Suzuma Void. Exuma Void? How the heck do you pronounce it? Is? I know it's like music's backward because I've watched them for too long. Um... But I watch him. I tend to watch Tango Tech. Um, I actually watched Tango Tech stream, and that's kind of like what finally just gave me the push to go do it myself. Um, let's see. Tango Tech. I've watched B00. Sometimes he's so over the top that I can't watch him. <laughs> um, who else? Uh, I watch... I don't watch Etho. Well, no, I do watch Etho. I watch Etho play Terra for Minecraft. 
Um, it's about the only thing I've seen modded recently that I can stand watching. I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm just kind of like, what well, looks good? That's not horrible. What do you think? What is how, How's that shape look? <laughs> oh, I watched uh, Wells Night. That's actually where I basically learned how to build. B00 is so far beyond my capability of building that I have to watch people <laughs> that are like... I don't see Wells Knight is less good at building. It's just like, I feel like I can do the things that he does. I watch B00 build and I'm like, how did you even think to use that that way? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just used to building on odd numbers. <laughs> But this whole house is supposed to be a challenge for me. I, I built on top of a hill. The reason it has that weird shape is because the hill just went that direction. Um. Oh. Oh, there he is. Like, where is that? I didn't know babies could burn. Where's the other one? Also, he seems to be getting good at design recently. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of the redstoners, redstoners, redstone folks, are getting really good at building. Oh, I see you. <laughs> and die. Look at this. He just tries to go in this way. Okay, so if you're curious about what's going on here, this door for him is closed. <laughs> this one is open. So he's trying to go through the open door. Uh, even though he can't. So his... Oh, there we go. He's finally... He figured it out. <laughs> but yeah. I have had... As many as one viewer at a time. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I mean, I... Literally, this is my third stream ever. So... I, I don't expect massive viewership or anything but yeah one viewer per stream uh the first stream i had i had uh one of my friends pop in to help me out a little bit um but other than that and i don't really announce that i'm streaming or anything i'm just trying to get used to it um let's look at this from down here Ooh, that's kind of dark Let's do some temporary lighting. Not too bad. Kind of wondering. I think I'm going to rip this out. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. That. I'm rip this out. I did it again. So, I guess the upside is that you're probably not. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, if, if I had zero streamers or zero people in chat or viewers or whatever, I wouldn't be, like, upset. <laughs> um, the fact that I have somebody to talk to right now is pretty cool. Uh, one stream I had, or one of the streams I had, there was a viewer, but they weren't chatting at all, which I thought was kind of odd. Uh, the one time they did chat, it was like, I had forgotten about chat, and, um, I should say the one sometime someone chatted, uh, that I would forgotten about chat, and so, basically, they thought I was ignoring them, and they left after, like, three posts. But they followed me, so hey. Um, <laughs> and I just kind of figure that's the way it goes. Um, I think that looks decent. I think I'm actually going to change these up to... Alright. Blah! 
So, um, which do you like more? Do you like, I guess, watching Etho and <laughs> beat Dubs? Do you, I was going to say, which one do you like more? Do you like building more, or do you like Redstone more? Or is it equal for you? Or farms. I guess farms don't necessarily have to have redstone in them. I mean, I don't consider myself great at it, but I still do them. Uh, <laughs> this, this type of thing is my very, very go-to style of building. I, I, I rip off of um, Wells Knight all the time, which is just a shame because Wells Knight doesn't do Minecraft anymore, which sucks. <laughs> make horrible sacrifices when trying to build something redstone. So redstone for me, one, hold on, I'm counting. Give me a second. One, two, uh, uh, okay. Uh, redstone for me is kind of hit or miss. Like I know what I know how to build, but I don't know how to expand what I know how to build. Like building like this, um, I guess for reference, professionally I'm an animator, so creating stuff is and building stuff is in my nature. When it goes to the technical aspects of like what comes next uh, in a redstone build or how to build an AND gate for that matter, I don't really know how to get into the super complicated stuff. I just build what I need and understand very basics about it. Let's see how's that look? I think that looks all right. All right. Uh, okay, counting. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Even, of course. Um, twelve. Wait, 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 wait. I did that wrong. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. No, it's odd. That is perfect. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I think is the middle. Uh, I think. Pretty sure. Where is my... I'm scrolling right over it. Right? So, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Sweet. A uh, repeater will push in or suck out signal. Ah! I fell. Uh, <laughs> that's what I get for reading chat while I was trying to move. Uh, okay, so repeater will push in or suck out signal. That's probably the most advanced redstone I know. Yeah, there's been some advances. I have, you said you hadn't played in a little while, so like I know about comparators and I know about like um. Oh, uh, what are the things called? The, um... The observers. <laughs> what do they do? They observe. Okay. Yeah, the observers are pretty nice. You know what I'm going to do here? This... I'm going to put a wall. There we go. Um... So, yeah. It's not... Okay, so comparators, if you use them in the most simplistic fashion ever, they basically just read the contents of whatever is next to them, sort of. But so like you put a comparator next to a chest like this, it's going to read that it has six lapis, a whole stack of shovels, and a whole stack of axes, and it has like, okay, so a stack of lapis is 64, so it has less than an eighth of a stack of this so it probably uh, and then it also compares that to the whole inventory of the thing so this can hold 27 stacks of something 
if you have one stack it's 127th of a signal which isn't anything wandering villager all I see when I see one onion villagers are leads on the other hand I might try to trade trade with him um, that's the basics of it I use them mostly for um, for like sorting systems and stuff the impulse SV sorting system that everybody in the world uses I use it too and that's basically how I know about them how I know kind of how to understand a comparator when you get into like comparator clocks and extending signals and crazy stuff like that I've <laughs> like I understand a certain part of them but then like you get into the super complicated and they get a little bit beyond my my scope um yeah I I don't know um trying to think of it. the observers are I use again in a kind of a simplistic manner they observe what happens or any block updates directly in front of them and they put out a signal a one tick pulse of a signal right uh, out their back uh, they're not terribly hard to use but again you get into flying machines and stuff like that and they're just like okay I whatever <laughs> don't totally understand that either uh uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. See, from inside, you're not gonna see that, so I guess that'll be fine. Uh, torches? Okay, there's the torches. Last thing I want is monsters to spawn near my bed. Okay. Kind of animations you make. Okay, so <laughs> dang it. So this is actually kind of a long story. Uh, it's not a long story. It's a short story. I went to school for animation, and <laughs> I graduated directly into the 2008 recession. Um, so I had a whole bunch of part-time jobs. Anyway, point is, uh, basically. I started off doing 3D. I did uh, industrial type animation. That's super. Uh, I'll be honest. It's boring animation that I got paid a fair amount of money to. Um, you, I can. I did like 3D models of planes and Humvees and stuff like that, which sounds way more exciting than it is. Um, and most of that stuff I can't talk about because of NDAs. Um, so then, last year, last year? No, 2019, because it's 2021. I decided, brilliantly, that I was going to switch careers to something that I liked doing. Which, you know, money is great, but let's do something I like. Um, so what I did is I changed careers to doing motion graphics, which are everywhere. Um, in fact, if you go to my channel, you look at like something recent, you'll see like a something I did on the front end and the back end of the video. Um, I do, so I do motion graphics basically, or motion design that they keep changing the name. Um, so that's a long winded way to say that I do motion design. <laughs> um, but yeah, you see motion design everywhere. It's you see it with like how's it? Oh, uh, uh, uh. that kind of looks neat. Um, it's yeah. Anyway, so I decided to tr change careers in 2019, and in 2020 the pandemic hit, and I didn't have any clients or a client base, and yeah, <laughs> and basically. I couldn't find work and I have to uh, I'm still self-isolating um, because of the pandemic 
I I have basically what's I have asthma. Uh, what am I doing? So I have asthma severe enough that I can't go anywhere because of the pandemic. Um, it's just super fun. Wait, I went too far on that one. Uh, or did I? I went too. F um, but basically, it's super hard to find remote work right now uh, because nobody, everybody's hurting for money. Uh, which is understandable, just annoying to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, it's, uh, it is what it is. So that's why I've started streaming. I was like, you know what would be the perfect job? The perfect job would be to stream and create animations for, like, the, the beginning or, you know, um, again, the most... The only person I have reference to is like Tango Tech. His starting stream, he has a little animation going on. His uh, Be Right Back, he has a little animation. I'm pretty sure he buys those. Pretty sure. I feel like he might have some animation experience though. Um, anyway, so I figured, you know, hey, if I could stream and stream a lot maybe eventually I'll have some some viewership and something will happen with it or maybe it won't and I'll continue animating <laughs> uh, so yeah I that's that's where we are currently that was probably a long much longer explanation than you were looking for oh right uh, you asked about the tools so I tried Blender at one point in time. Uh, 3D, I used Maya mostly. Um, I actually worked for a place that I used 3DS Max for a while. Um, I like 3D, but it takes so long. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I just have a very short attention span. <clears throat> Literally, I... Anyway, um... So, like this, this is so, you can get a, basically a reward, a reward? I, uh, what am I trying to say? Not a reward, uh, you get that, that feeling of completing something pretty immediately. Like it's, you don't spend hours on something and then go, oh, this is not what I wanted at all. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know, 3, 3D for me is just kind of hit or miss. I, I like it, but I also don't like it. Uh, for motion graphics, I use After Effects, Premiere, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, I create the graphics that I'm going to animate, and then um, typically I animate in After Effects. And then I use... Premiere to cut together sound effects and all that stuff um, and music although sometimes music comes from After Effects because I want to line stuff up on the beat uh, if it's music if it's sound effects uh, sound effects is hit or miss it's like do I want it and do I just animate and then do the sound effects afterwards or do I get a sound file first and then you know go that way I don't know. So, uh, I don't know if I started saying this or not, but I, I used Blender. It's just not my most favorite tool in the world. It's good-ish for what it does. <laughs> uh, actually, it's really good. It's free and it's wonderful. I just, I started off learning in school um in Maya and Af or Maya and um the other one 3DS Max I was freelancing in logo design for a long time yeah um again actually if you like vectors there's um 
there is a program. Oh, what is it called? There's it's like a program that mixes the two. It mixes Photoshop and uh, Illustrator together, and it's it's actually pretty amazing. My, one of my friends showed it. Of course, I forgot because I don't use it. Um, oh, what is it called? It's like it starts with an A or something. I don't know. I I'll, I'll, might be able to figure it out later. Um, but yeah, it uses vectors and it uses raster rasterize images together um, better than Photoshop does it. And it's actually a really neat program. It's just I don't have the patience. Um, but Illustrator and Photoshop, you just got to think of them as different programs. They both have layers, but they don't work in the same way. Um, <laughs> if you open up a layer in Illustrator, it has more like what Photoshop layers has. Uh, like each element has its own layer. Um, but yeah, there's so much to Illustrator. I would actually suggest just going in and looking at uh, tutorials if you're ever interested. Uh, and, you know, improving that skill. But yeah, um, but. Photoshop works plenty fine if you want to use rest or vectors in that one. Um, they're they've meshed enough now that you can get away with it. Made your first donut the other day. Do you mean like a real donut or do you mean like a vector donut? <laughs> oh, that guy's still alive. Oh, I have recently. I might have screwed up this roof. Wait, hold on, let me. <laughs> oh, I gotta see something. There's this guy called the Blender Guru on YouTube. He's well known for his donut tutorial, which. Oh, so you made a blender? Okay, cool. Functionality. Posting their donuts. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so, okay. I'm assuming a donut is more than just creating a torus. <laughs> like, you know, the just the torus shape. It's Is it like you light it and render it and such? Oh, <clears throat> that you've been a distraction. To me? No, like, look, I'm coming to the stream to talk to you. <laughs> Uh, I just happen to be building Minecraft in the meantime. Uh, yeah, I just have to look at what's going on here. Oh, yeah, see? Look at that. That looks good. Uh, I kind of think... Though... That? Oh, no. I was completely wrong. Coffee cup in the background stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's way more. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing with 3D is that always got me was the lighting and the texturing. I, I actually kind of sucked at it. Um, that's why I went with like metals and glasses at first because I was like, okay, well this, all you got to do is turn the specularity like way, way up. Why do I keep doing this in the wrong place? Oh, I know why. Um, but yeah, I, bleh. I, I wasn't very good, and I found out more recently that was a mistake. 
Um, that I just like creating 2D graphics and animating those. That you, there's way more, there's more of a reward in it for me. Um, okay, let's do that. Oh, there it is. Um, sorry, there is a commercial talking in my ear. I can't talk while something else is talking. It just messes my head. Um, what was I just saying? Something about talking and... Nope, that's wrong. Talking and... Or chewing bubble gum and walking at the same time? Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's looking better. Oh, gosh. You... Okay, so yeah, texturing for me was just awful. Uh, I like... I like... I definitely like the the whole experience of creating something 2d and then making it move um, and then like really getting into the details of how it moves versus 3d you spend all this time creating a model and getting the lighting just right and creating the textures and making that just perfect and then you get to the animating and for me that just I, I can't get my head around that Pros make building and describing something else. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. Being able to talk about animation is uh, <laughs> kind of a unique experience, I guess. You're, I don't know if you've found this yet, but um, where bleh, that looks awful. But yeah, being able to talk about animation and with layman people is like, uh, <laughs> trying to explain how you, like you just said UV mapping, for example, like, I know what that is, you know what that is, but try to explain that to like somebody that doesn't know what animation is. <laughs> so yeah, actually I'm kind of happy that you know what that stuff is, even if I don't like it myself. It's good that some people like it because otherwise we wouldn't have great animation. Pros make building and describing something else to an audience. But you know what it is. Like, try. I mean, okay, tr try taking what you know of UV mapping and then going to like your mom <laughs> and going, hey, this is what UV mapping is. She gonna look like you, like you grew to third eye. Like my family doesn't know what I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, building in Minecraft is describing something else. Is uh, at least okay. So with building in Minecraft, like I can. It, it's. I'm trying to explain this in a decent way. Like, most of the time I can turn my brain off to that what I'm doing. Because um, it's just, it's like pure creation for me, which means I don't really have to think about it. Unless I put my fingers on the wrong keys. Um, and then I I can talk otherwise. But yeah, if, if say a commercial comes on in the movie, or in the movie, in the music I'm watching, then I can't concentrate on someone else talking to my ear while also saying words. Oh, okay. So, what have you had to describe to your parents that went horribly wrong? Because <laughs> that's where I feel like this story is going. Oh, I need it. Ah! Oh, that's where that came from. Okay. Well, that looks decent. It's kind of flat, but... Mm. All right.
Hmm. What are you selling? You are under my house. Congratulations. Ooh, Nautilus shell. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Saplings. That's the only thing. Or do I want your leads? Okay, sorry. He'll stick around for a while. gonna do one two three four five maybe six one two three four five six oh that combination of stories <laughs> uh, it probably depends on the parents Now I'm curious about the story though, so now you gotta explain it. <laughs> I put that stone stuff up, didn't I? Sorry, I'm just looking at the roof. I'm like, oh no. Does that make sense? Not really. So my dad used to tell me that I didn't do real work. Yeah, okay. So I asked him what he thought I did for a living, and he said, It's just typing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm aware that I haven't told you do for a living, but sure you. Oh, so are you a writer? I will have to figure out lighting. Gah. Web developer, oh my lord, that's even, what? <laughs> that makes so much sense though, like, just typing though, not in I mean, I guess, and that you have to code everything? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a, yeah, okay, I totally understand it, though. Like I said, my parents don't know what I do. Um, I I wind up doing, um, yeah. <laughs> not, not typing. <laughs> uh, it, I guess he's, has he seen you do what you do? Or have you shown them, or, like, the end result? I, I don't know I I have no idea how to Okay, so like with my parents I just show them the end and they're like, Oh that's neat. I have no idea how you did it. And if I show them what I'm working on while I'm working on it, they're like, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, your parents can't be that old. 
I say this because my parents are getting up there in age. They'll probably... Well, I mean, obviously, I'm almost 38, right? So... Um, I have an uncle that doesn't know how to use his phone, so I get it. I don't know what I'm doing here in terms of design. Kind of tempted. Hmm. What's this roof look like? Technophobic. <laughs> Um, I can see that. It, are they just unwilling to learn? Because, uh, actually, so there's probably the same difference between your dad and you and between my dad and me. My dad is, actually, this year, my dad is exactly twice as old as me. Um, so, yeah, it's, I've had to teach them how to use their phones, how to use their iPads, what to do to fix it, which is 99% of the time just restarting it. Um, <laughs> but, the, you know, they're learning slowly. I don't know what should go in this hole. <laughs> you think more oak planks for this hole? Or should I use, like, strip logs? So, um, Stripped logs, baby. Of course, it's the expensive way. You want me to go to the expensive way? Oh, wait. Uh, I can't do that. Urgh. Let's do that. Does that block it? I have nothing I can test this on. I'll try boat. You can't enchant shields. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not blocking that bookshelf is what I'm trying to do. Stripped logs. Okay, let's see if I have enough stripped logs to do this. And I'm assuming we're going stripped oak logs. Yeah, let's... Stripped oak logs? I think so. I think that color matches best. That was the wrong... Okay, it's fine. kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like a villager. Hmm. Okay, that needs to go there, there. Ouch. Um. Hmm, I wanted a window. <laughs> uh, maybe like a... Something like this? I, I... Okay, I know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> we can read of that. I'm going to get shot. Here are skeletons. Hmm... <laughs> Take out this whole line here. Duh, maybe? Yeah, that'll work. Huh. 
<laughs> not precisely. Yeah, that <laughs> I was gonna say you're not gonna get a precise location. Uh, let's see how how imprecise do I want to be? I could tell you I live on the east coast. Does that help? <laughs> uh, USA. I live in the USA on the east coast. <laughs> I forget that it could be worldwide over here. What about you? Where are you? I mean, whereabouts? Like, country slash time zone. <laughs> All the stairs. Florida. N oh, you're asking where I live. Uh, no. Thank God, no. Um... <laughs> Although, yeah, I live in Georgia. Here, I'll give you that. Um, the UK, wow, you are... So it's like evening for you. Um, let's see, what was I doing? Oh, slap, slap, slaps. So, yeah, it's two here. Almost. Yeah, it is two. Which, I guess, is one of the nice things about... Well, I mean, this will be the case even if I go remote working for, uh, for companies. I'll be working even at... Um, you know... Ah, what am I trying to say? Whoa, let's do this. Yeah, I'll be working from home, and I, I can do stuff in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, it's, I, I, I don't know if I said this. I was going to switch to freelance um, animation, which is kind of a whole different beast. Oh. Actually, I want to set this back by one more... Fair enough. I might have to feed myself, so that's okay. <laughs> um, I've been streaming for a little over an hour. I was just kind of like, ah, I just need to get some stuff done. Hey, don't go shooting the, the streamer. Oh. Come on now. Get the... <laughs> Ouch. Jerk face. Well, you're dead. I hit Q instead of one. That's, that's Bruce. I did it again. That's okay. I'll just do full blocks right there. Okay, let's see here. Oh, dang it. 
That's okay. <laughs> I think that's good. middle for like these <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah I see what you're saying so I don't see the okay yep yeah. uh, you're probably right ah yes you're right you're right like so oh gosh Ah, that does look so much better. Cool. Got part of the roof finished. There should be like a well I'll figure that out later. further oh this one yeah sorry <laughs> I'm already there <laughs> like this like towards me like an awning oh like a so uh, hmm. Alright, let's get some slabs. Or... Eh. Nope! <laughs> um, wait, hold on. Before I say no to that. 
Still no. <laughs> um. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, it's worth trying. I, I feel like there's something to be had there, but it's just not there yet. That's, uh, that's pretty much the problem with any type of creativity, like, or not the problem, it's the fun part. It's figuring out that, oh god, that didn't work. But there's something there. Uh, so let me try something else. Like... Uh, shh, I wish I could put it on the middle of a block, to be honest. That was wrong. Still no. Can't go up one because this that one one of these two is a ceiling line I don't totally remember which one I think it's the top one that's a ceiling line so if I go up one more it juts up butts up against that now wait a minute what if we do like this oh actually that kind of works hmm maybe if I put some like some some something up there be cool if I had more spruce. <laughs> uh, maybe I could do it spruce or something. Needs a little contrast. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there to remind myself. In the meantime, okay. Then two upright. Okay, like two. You know, like two on top of those facing inwards, and then two upright on the outside. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, let's do like here and here. Okay, wait, then two on top of those facing inwards. Oh, like, uh, like a so? Oh, that actually might look good. Mm -hmm. eh, that was wrong. <laughs> Although, happy accident? Oh, it just needs to be a different color. <laughs> uh, it just blends in too much. I fully agree. Oh, inwards. Uh, wait, I got, I got an idea. Uh, let's see there, there, there. there. build like half the wall out so I can get up here inwards uh, let's see Th oh, this yep this way and this way all right Again, it needs to be a different color for me to really get it behind it. Um, I'm just going to leave this up there as a reminder to look at it later. Because I like the idea, but I just don't like the execution as it is now. And I feel like moving on. Uh, okay, so let's see here. I know there are walls right here. Okay. 
I don't have any walls. Did I pick that thing up? I did. That's for it. I'll have to get some cobble later on. I think that's right. Yeah. Four. Ah, crap. Wait. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. And then one more, maybe. And then, yep. Two, three, four, five. Then. Do, 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 do. I'm just mirroring what I did below. So, uh, I have a very eclectic taste in music. Right this second, um, I tend to lean towards, especially like while building and creating pretty much anything, I, I lean towards um, lyricless music. <laughs> That's a weird way to describe it. But yeah, uh, anything. So, like, uh, right now I'm listening to electronic dance music, I think think is what it's called, or techno, I'm not sure what I'm listening to, um, oh, it's like, something's wrong, so, that's, that's right this second, what I'm listening to, the, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to, like, think of a, I also like to listen to orchestra music, but like from movies and video games and such, uh, makes it sound really epic. Uh, the only problem is while I'm on stream, I can't do that because it's copyrighted. Uh, so a lot of the uh, EDM stuff isn't copyrighted. So I, I like it. It has a decent music musicality to it. Um, but I mean, otherwise, I listen to country. I've listened to rap. I listen to. Oh, Lord, everything. Uh, there is... I don't think I've found a song in heavy metal that I like, but pretty much all through my life, I've come to the point of... Hold on. Zombie. Um, all my life, I've had this kind of, like... Oh, I hate this type of music. Shut up, you stupid zombie. Um, you know... I hate this type of music, and then I learned that there's a song that I really like in that genre of music, so <laughs> um, I really liked some of Eminem stuff, um, Broham, oh gosh, hold on, oh where'd he go, oh gosh, um, yeah, I, let's see, country, rap, R&B, blues, uh, I love Louis Armstrong, um, jazz, let's see, what else do I like, I like, I like pop, I like, uh, I definitely like One Republic and <laughs> Imagine Dragons and like, oh, I mean, just everything. Actually, I, I will say, though, there is a heavy metal song that I do like, uh, I said I hadn't found one that I liked, but there is one, um, it is the cover of the Witcher song in heavy metal. Uh, it is amazing. Um, <laughs> it's it's probably the first time I've like listened to heavy metal, and I'm like, oh, I could probably maybe like this genre in very specific circumstances. But that's every genre for me. Um, if I listen to one genre too much, I typically get bored with it. Um, the only thing that, that hasn't really happened with is if I listen to, uh, say, a bunch of EDM and a bunch of orchestra together, 
like lyricless music, I can just kind of get lost in it. I don't notice if it repeats. Uh, at least it, if it doesn't repeat too often, I don't notice it. Um, but yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's the extent. Like I, I really do. I listen to just about everything, uh, or I'll give it a shot. That's probably true too. Like, I, saying you like any one type of music is always kind of dangerous because you're like, well, there's all this uh, like this type of, like even country music. Everybody thinks of the twingy stuff, but there's like country rock. There's old country. There's uh, new country. There's the stuff that Cowboy Troy did. I don't even know if you can count that as country, but sure. Um, if you're going to count it, then count it. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. I was wondering why these windows look bigger. There we go. And yep. Is that what I did below? Uh, that's not what I did below. <laughs> oh yeah, below I have a door. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Was it a zombie pigman? Uh, what? Uh, right. Oh, I don't have any spruce uh what <laughs> i mean oh he's in the basement hi zombie pigman man my mobs are so loud they're that way so like when i'm mining i can hear them but Hmm, that still doesn't look right. <laughs> I have a sound in my mind when I think of country. It probably is a small subset of what country actually is, but I've never liked the sound, so I assume it. I guess some of what the white stripes do could be considered country. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, there are... Again, I'll never, like, discount an entire genre just because I don't like a handful of songs. Um, or even most of the genre because there will be, like, inevitably, there will be, like, one or two songs that I like. And I'll be like, okay, I like, I can handle this, I think. Um, circle windows? Mm, maybe not. Mm, nah. I can't not do symmetry, can I? Oh well, whatever, it's fine. There are... <laughs> I have a song playing right now. There's so many songs that, like, in EDM where I'm, I don't realize that there are lyrics to it until I hear the lyrics. I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. I've never heard it that way before. Anyway, what? So, yeah, yeah. Now, you say there are gems everywhere. The one slog that I won't do, it has nothing to do with music, is uh, it's anime i can't do it anywhere i just there are wait i wonder if i can do something neat with this eh, it looks too much like a fortress um but yeah anime i can't do anymore i i 
I watched it a bunch as a teenager in my 20s. There's so few gems. <laughs> uh, and so much rubbish that I just can't do it anymore. Nope. Had an idea. Wasn't a good one. Okay. All right, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. There. I think. I need to cut down that tree. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoa. what was that? What was that noise? You are now following. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the follow. I <laughs> those little animations are ridiculous. I cannot wait uh, to figure out how to do my own animations for those. That's like half these things. I'm like, oh, I could do this cool animation. Um. But anyway. Um. Yeah. DBZ. Uh, I used to love it as a teenager. Um, I mean, let's see, you're like, what, four years removed from me? So, yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, sure, when, whenever you got to go. Actually, in fact, I'm pretty sure in the next few minutes I'm going to have to go to. I got uh, got to find something for lunch, even though it's almost 3 o'clock. Uh, or it's 2.30. Had to look on a different screen. Um... But yeah, I uh, just, I've really, I've enjoyed the chat too. That's what I'm trying to get out, like, right here. It's been fun. Uh, I had never even considered watching on my phone before. Eh, I don't have any more. Well, we got a lot done. Look at this. We got that roof built, that roof built, this built, sort of. Uh, let's see, before your phone, phone battery dies, let's kind of, like, check it out. That's not the door. Eh. Alright. Get my boot. What's that about? Oh, yeah, it's coming together. Get out in the ocean to look at it. <laughs> oh! I haven't finished the supports for the deck. Whoops. Oh, that looks good. The stripped logs were a good choice. I like that. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Um, yeah, I like the porch except for the, the, the one upright that goes into the water. Um, oh, guys, it's stupid. <laughs> I try to make Minecraft not look so, like, ridiculous. Um, you know, I I follow a lot of what the, like, Etho and, not Etho, Etho's good at building, but, like, B-dubs instead, you know, try to make it look like it could exist in real life, like, at least somewhat. Like, there's a support here. There should be one there. <laughs> um, and then add depth and all that stuff. Like, I, I take those to heart. Yeah, I think I like the way it's turning out so far. A lot of stone. But, normally, actually, I'll even say, normally what I do is I have, like, instead of glass there, I have fence posts, like a oak or spruce in there. Uh, because I've, it's, like, before I've even managed to do glass or good sand. But, this this time is a little different. What's going to be super fun is doing the roof. Because it's such a weird build. Thank you about the overhang, by the way. I, I need to get the boat on me. Yes, one of the... We talked about redstone earlier. One of the things I'm getting away from the cows is I'm going to build a sugar cane farm. 
I will build uh, probably some kind of a tree farm, like a beginner tree farm. No, that tree is not a natural spot. <laughs> uh, well, sort of. I mean, I planted four saplings down and it grows ridiculously. Um, there is a spruce biome that way, and I just grabbed some spruce. It, I always use spruce as my base tree, or my base wood, because they grow that tall and I can get a bunch of wood all at once. Um, that's, that's it. Um, I love it when I have like an ender farm because then I can just like ender pearl up there and then just chop it all down. Um, but yeah, now when, I don't know if you know this because when you were saying the last time you played this, but now when spruce trees grow, especially the big ones, they create pods all like all this was not here <laughs> like it, it's just it's new uh, i had one that was over there but i was like i don't need two trees i just need one but yeah uh, a tree farm to collect saplings and stuff i'll create a farm probably a villager farm of some sort which is why i have that zombie villager i got a long way to go on this whole series or is yeah well, I, like I gotta create an iron farm gotta create everything this is such a better idea than the netherrack but yeah let's see have you seen the the bridge as it becomes nighttime so yeah Get, um this here will have its own little roof and it'll be a little bridge and then I'll come into this house area over here. And I think I'm going to dig out this and put water. So, like, this overhangs that. I might put something in there. I don't know. But anyway, I really enjoyed hanging out with you today. I have played recently, but had no idea it creates... Yeah, it's... It's a way to get infinite pods all, I think. <laughs> so you don't have to, like, clear out an entire biome. I was seeing if a mushroom would grow naturally, and it does not. I have to bone meal that. But this mushroom can be planted and not have to be in total darkness, which is also why I like pods all. So that's a thing. Shut up, cows. Um... Yeah. Anywho, wait, I, uh, I will probably see you in another stream sometime. I'll try to stream in the afternoon again. Um, actually, I will probably stream later. It'll be, ooh, let's see, your time, uh, nine-ish. <laughs> oh, it's really, yeah. Right? I mean, I know I'm not the only one that's had, like, a rough 2020. Like, I was so happy it was gone. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Look forward to it. Yeah, sure. Um, like I said, I'll probably stream later today and stuff. But, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Uh, in that case, actually, I'm going to end the stream right now. I'm, I'm not even going to do a raid because we're both going to leave. <laughs>